But we all accept this crisis is complex and has deep roots. It will not be solved overnight. But let us also be clear, it will not be solved without continued engagement and action from this council. So as we mark one year on from the violence of August 2017, this council should shoulder its responsibility and do justice to the gravity of their attacks on the Rohingya community. We should not be just discussing and debating. We need to be acting, acting to bring an end to the appalling ethnic cleansing, to help those suffering refugees and bring justice for the victims of these appalling crimes. However, I'm from Malaysia. Yes, how are you? I need your favor of you going to meet you in this kind of Malaysia thing, inshallah. Yeah. <laughs>
The UK Parliament has a significant role in defending human rights, in defending uh, the rights of any faith community anywhere around the world to express itself freely. Uh, we must up uphold that right and be willing to speak out when necessary. These things should not be happening and I call on the Pakistan government to, to, to take every step to stop these things happening and, and treat everybody with proper humanity and care. And the British government also has a role to stand up for uh, proper behaviours abroad and I hope that they will do that. I really regret and condemn the attack on the Ahmadiyya headquarters in Rabwa and also the, mo the mob violence outside the Chakwal Mosque as well. These are peace people that are trying to um, live their lives and express their religious views in a peaceful, uh, quiet way and they should be allowed to do that. We should be tolerant of all religions and none and I hope these people can live their life peacefully and so I'd urge the Pakistani authorities to condemn such violence, condemn such arrests as well that's happened in Rabwa and let, them, uh, let the Ahmadiyya community worship freely. And the events over the last week um, ha have really shocked, I think, not only myself but others. Um, the raid on, on the headquarters um, in Rabwa and also the, the, um, the thousand plus mob attack on the uh, mosque in the Chakwal district in the Punjab. Um, I think this is an orchestration of, of um, an attack, an orchestrated attack on the Ahmadian community. Um, when I was speaking um, uh, 10 days ago at the event in Glasgow, the peace symposium that the Glasgow Ahmadian community um, set up, um, I spoke about religious freedom, um, freedom of expression, freedom of association, and this is a clear example of religious persecution um, that the, the Ahmadian community are not allowed to practice their religion in Pakistan. Now, it's being condemned by me today, but it will be condemned across the house and also across the world. The world will sit up and take notice. And I think that the motto, love for all, hatred for none, it's not just love for all, it should be tolerance for all, respect for all, and also justice for all. And my thoughts go out to everybody that has been caught up in these events over the last week and we pray that everybody else is, is kept safe from further attacks.